Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Guapish Rule 34. As always, I'm your host Tanner, and today I'm joined by my very special co-host, Nico. Damn, I actually remember that I had an intro that I really wanted to do, that I've been wanting to do for like weeks now at this point, but alas, I guess we're rolling with this one. Okay, yep. maybe write it down somewhere so you can actually remember it next time. Yep. We'll see. <laughs> and also joining us is another, I guess, co-host now, Dylan. Hey, what's up? I'm here to co-host with Nico. Okay. And our final co-host, Jackson. Final, you say? We've got another person joining us still. He's not fucking here yet, but eventually... <laughs> He will be here. He's a special guest, and uh, everyone's going to love him. And he yes. counts as a host. <laughs> so today, let's just let's see what what, what uh, Nico. I see in the in in the topics you have Tanner and the Rock, a story of fame gone wrong. <laughs> what what is this? Uh, I'm very curious to know about this. Uh, so Tanner, that's a hypothetical question I have here ready for you. Uh, okay, Tanner. So is it a real hypothetical or is it one where you lead me so directly that there's like no room for me to have a fun answer? No, there's absolutely. It's absolutely a legitimate hypothetical for you, Tanner. It, it, okay, it, it's very straightforward. Oh okay, so Tanner. Okay. Uh, the Rock is a really big, famous uh, celebrity, and so if you were to come on the show, I feel like that would do a lot for us. You know. Yeah. So the question I, I here agree. is, Tanner. Uh, in order to get The Rock on the show, would you allow him to come on if his only like prerequisite was that he had to be allowed to punch you as hard as he possibly could in the face? In the face? Oh my god. Oh man. We get The Rock on the podcast, but I have to let him punch me in the face as hard as he can. Man, because like... Uh, we're, we're, are we allowed to make content out of this moment, at least? Like, we can film it and shit? Yeah, I'd say so. Okay. That, that, that's, that, that's a pro. The, the con is that I, I feel like it's quite possible he would kill me. What? <laughs> like, it's in a single punch. I, well, the guy is huge. I mean, yeah. Like what? What in your guys' opinion? What do you think is the over under on on the rock killing me in a single blow? If he hits you on the fucking jaw, I think it's possible. Uh, yeah, I mean, it, or like it doesn't have to be a fucking skull punch. Yeah, if it, if yeah it, does it have to be a headshot, Nico? <laughs> it does. Damn. Hmm. I don't know if you'd risk it to be honest. If anything, he'd give you like a fucking concussion. He'd give, like internal brain bleed. Oh yeah, concussion is guaranteed. Hmm. I don't know, uh, maybe those are show muscles, though. Maybe they don't actually have much force behind them. It is entirely possible. Is there any video on the internet of The Rock punching something? Uh, he, doesn't, he doesn't go all out, officially. Let, let, me, let me see if I can go, gather, gather any info. Uh, the Rock punching. Let, let, let's see. Because he, he, he was, like, in wrestling. He had to punch someone in that, right? Yeah, exactly. Oh, here we go. Dwayne The Rock Johnson punching people in the face. This is perfect. Let me see how this video goes. And not available anymore. Damn it. Well, I'm gonna say... Hmm. I think I'm gonna go with yes, but... Uh -huh. I like, like, it has to be un uh, uh, unanticipated. It has like, to be... I have to not know it's coming. I feel like that would make it worse. Maybe if I'm, like, like, like I'm sleeping, and then you guys <laughs> set up a camera in my bedroom, and then he comes in and punches me in the face. Fucking gotcha, shell okay. shock wake up. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> this man walks up to you while you're sleeping and punches you in the face. What do you do? <laughs> um, are we still... No, it depends. Are we still talking about Dwayne Johnson? Little did Tanner know that falling asleep that night would be his last rest. <laughs> oh, no. I mean, getting killed by The Rock would be kind of neat, I that, guess. That's true. We'd also have video evidence, so I'm sure your family could get a pretty nice settlement out of it. Oh, yeah, sure. Well, I don't know if they could, because, like, I agreed to it. That's, that's also true. Hmm. I don't know. Can you agree to being killed and then just nothing happens to that person? Hmm... I'm not sure about that. Uh, Dylan, as a residential law expert, what do you say? 
residential law expert. Yeah. Yep. I was I was I was reading into other other laws. What, what were we talking about? What we're asking if if like two people like have a formal agreement that one will kill the other person, can can the law not do anything about that? I mean, technically, that's still murder in like the first degree, where you had the intent and the means to kill the person. I don't know if it matters that you agreed to it or not, uh, unless it was contractualized. So I guess if you got it down on paper, it might make a difference. Like, hey, you're going to die if you do this. And then both people are like, oh, okay, fine. And then I think at that point it might be okay, but that's still technically, I don't know if that nullifies murder in the first degree. Okay. Interesting. I don't know. Would you guys take a hit from the rock? I mean, no. I mean, out of the four of us, I'm the only one who possibly could survive. But... Yeah, I absolutely wouldn't do that. <laughs> you would crumple me. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you guys would. You guys would fold up like Paper Mario. This is correct. You would I smash mean, my fucking school. It, it sounds. It's what I'm seeing is like the punch won't necessarily kill you, but you'll definitely get knocked out, and then maybe the resulting fall of you hitting your head or something on some kind of object or whatever would kill you. Yeah, we're on like so, a trampoline land right now. Like that area with like a bunch of trampolines everywhere. <laughs> yeah, we're in a trampoline. <laughs> it's nighttime. The lights are off. You're trapped in a trampoline park with Dwayne the Rock Johnson. <laughs> he's trying to kill you. <laughs> How long do you survive? That sounds like. Were you intentionally trying to make that sound like the Shia LaBeouf video? Uh, Do you have any no, clue what I'm talking about? I wasn't about? thinking about that. That's exactly I, yes, what it's like. Everyone knows what you're talking about. I'm just saying, I um, thought you were referencing that directly. Cringe, yeah, whatever, man. I What's, don't care. Who who is the largest celebrity you guys would be willing to take a punch from? Uh Scott the Watts. <laughs> okay. That's a scrawny nerd man. Mm, I don't want to take a punch from anybody. I really don't want to take a punch from anybody either. I don't know if I. So I guess <laughs> I some pondered this thought. I guess some random fucking like like female beauty YouTuber or something. Sure. What if, what if we get James Charles to punch you? Oh okay. I feel like I could take a punch from James Charles. Do you think James Charles is like even physically capable of making a fist? <laughs> Who's excellent? No, his, question, nails, his nails will stop him from doing so. <laughs> yeah. Who is this person? James Charles is a maybe trans, maybe not kind of a guy. I think they're maybe just really gay. Yeah, they're, I definitely, they're, like definitely gay. Gay. they're definitely gay. There's a lot of stories Whatever. about him like trying to fucking I don't, I don't he know. He likes like, fucking to, like, straight con- dudes. Yeah, he likes to or try getting to con- fucked by straight dudes. He likes to con- try to convert fucking straight guys. Uh, oh, okay. That's nice. Anyway, he does makeup and nails. <laughs> okay. Oh. Alright. And he's bigger than God himself somehow. Uh, and yet Dylan he hasn't has a... heard about him before this. Doesn't he have a tattoo of, like, Johnny Depp on his chest or something? No, I'm pretty sure it's Goku. What the fuck? I don't... I don't think it's Goku. <laughs> That'd be pretty funny. You could look it up, Nico. I'm not going to. I don't to. think there are any... I don't think there's anyone who has a tattoo of Goku who isn't Mexican. No? No. <laughs> you don't think, like, any Japanese dudes are that psyched about Goku, Tanner? I'm sure. Definitely not. I I, no. I, I, can, I, I can guarantee there probably is at least one. What about black guys, Tanner? Whoa, okay, hold on. What? The black community is really into Dragon Ball, Dylan. I don't know if it's that much, though. No, they totally Dude, are. they're pretty fucking psyched by That's Dragon Ball. That's true. They go crazy. Every, literally every single year, there's like a, a, a new story where they're like, "Did you know this basketball player loves <laughs> Dragon Ball Z?" And it's like we get it. They all love Dragon Ball Z. They pretend the basketballs are Dragon Balls. <laughs> Whenever he shoots for a three pointer, he says Kamiyamiha in his mind. Uh, <laughs> interesting. Did you guys see that that video of that guy horribly mispronouncing <laughs> Kamehameha? Yes. Did he say Kamehameha Kame- Mama or something like that? <laughs> oh, shit. Kamehameha Mama. Kamehameha Mama. Yeah, all, and he said it so confidently. I think it was like, and we all know that the Kamehameha Mama is a very powerful move in Fortnite. Yeah. Oh, yeah. My yeah, my little brother was telling me about that. He's like, oh, guess what? Guess what crossover is going to go be in Fortnite next? I'm like, what? And he's like, Dragon Ball. And he fucked... 
He, this kid, he's like, yeah, he is, it has the main character. I'm like, you mean Goku? And he's like, yeah. And then he's like, it's got Vegeta. I'm like, hold up a fucking second. How do you know who Vegeta is, but not Goku? And he's like, I don't know. I just, I just like it more. And I was like, oh, okay. He's a That's man funny. of culture. Vegeta's a punk rock, bro. And he's punk like, rock. and he's like, there's also a girl in it. I'm like, okay. And I was taking a bunch of guesses, and he's like, oh no, she has blue hair. And I'm like, is it Bulma? And he's like, yeah, it is. And I was like, what the fuck? That doesn't even make any sense. He loves the but Vegeta family. I think yeah. these headphones broke. Yeah. I'm only it's getting got Goku. On one side. It's got Zendaya from Spider Man. It's got Zendaya from Euphoria. Interesting. I don't think that's even a joke. I think that's true. They have two different versions of Zendaya in that game now. Yeah, Fortnite's fucking weird, It's got, like, weird, four man. different rappers for some reason. Fortnite doesn't even make sense anymore. It really does. My, my, my brother still tries to defend it to this day. They've he, embraced he, the crazy. He, he was trying to convince me at one point that uh, Fortnite was better than Apex. Did and what's your defense, Dylan? What's no. your defense, Dylan? What's my defense? Yeah. I think that Fortnite needs a lot of crossovers to stay relevant. <laughs> what do you mean stay relevant? It has like 500 times more players than Apex. God yeah. damn it, these headphones. I mean, I don't know, man. I don't care. I just play the game. Okay. <laughs> I just think you gave that... up pretty quick. <laughs> I just... I just... Oh, fucking damn it. Hold on a second. Where are my other headphones? Dude, you can just use the headphones for my work PC. I mean, I know, but I already have my other pair of headphones. I'm just using the ones that Nico gave me because, you know, whatever. Give me a second. You guys keep talking. I'll be back. There's some pretty okay. sweet little Solar Republics, bro. The silly little gooses. Yeah. Tanner found a black nail with a Goku tattoo. A Game, what? set, and match. My man, let you me, could you could see. stop any random black person. You got like a ten percent chance they have a fucking Goku tattoo. Yeah. You're wait. This most recent one you posted in general. Yeah. You're saying this is a black man. Yes. Oh my gosh, he feels significantly larger. <laughs> how how confident are you in saying that? I'm pretty. Because confident. I will point out he has brown hair. Uh, That's not brown. <laughs> yes, that is. No, it's not. That's not what black people hair looks like. That's a beard, Tanner. Yeah. What's the Jackson, argument? Can I get a second opinion here? I'm in camp. Dylan, this Dylan guy's black. is this most recent picture? This is clearly not a black man. This is clearly not a man who is African American. Why do you say that? Because he doesn't <laughs> look like one. Tanner, you're Why three not? to one here, dude. Why doesn't he look black? All three of you think this is this is a black man? Yeah. Yes. Tanner, what else Why? would he Why be? Why do you guys think what he else would he be? Look at him, dude. Look at, him, dude. Look at, his, look at his fucking skin tone. What are you talking about? Well, look at my skin tone. What do you mean? What the fuck oh are you gosh. talking about? You, what, you just he doesn't think have, that? You he, just doesn't think... have, he, he doesn't have this. His beard doesn't have the hair texture black people have. Tanner's been in Texas for too long. Everybody looks fucking black down there. <laughs> Where else Tanner, are Tanner? I don't... I think you guys are out of your minds if you're saying this is an African American male here. All right, fine, Tanner. I'll find like a uh, some like fucking South America, uh, South African dude for you. Then I guess. Just just find me someone who actually looks black. <laughs> that's a that's, black a, black a, that's a weird thing to say. I need you to find me a black guy that looks black. <laughs> I'm just saying this man gives me no indications of being African American. Hang on, here's here's a different image of the same dude. That's not the same dude. It is the same dude. Look at the whole tattoo, Tanner. Tanner, what the fuck no, are you smoking not. right now, my guy? That's not the same guy. Oh, Look at God. the tattoos. <laughs> Look how much darker he is. What are you talking about? Tanner, There's anybody like... can change skin tones. What are you talking about? I could literally be black if I wanted to, Tanner. It's called getting out in the sun, my guy. I thought you were going to say blackface. No. I also thought that. It's called blackface. What the heck? Those are temporary tattoos on his spine. You don't what? know that. What, what do you mean? Lo look at the second picture. There's little <laughs> stencils right next to him. Those are temporary tattoos. <laughs> oh, I didn't even see the fucking stencils. I thought you were talking about like, the I'm... texture over his skin. No, I wasn't even, yeah, I wasn't even looking at that. That's pretty funny. Fine, I will concede to you guys 
It's just in this first picture, he doesn't look look very African American. The second one, he definitely does. Oh, fucking okay. weird. I feel like the skin tone's not that different at all between these pictures. I don't think so either. They're like the, like the exact it, it same looks skin tone. Like, li Listen, he looks a lot redder in the top one. Mm. He has like light shining directly on him. Just as he has light shining directly on him in the back one too. Crazy how that works. When I think of black people, I think of Shaquille O'Neal and Morgan Freeman, okay? That's where I'm working from. Okay. This is gonna be the new dress, okay? We need to show this image to people and ask them <laughs> if this is a black man or not. Mm -hmm. There you go. Alright, hold on a second. I got. What, what do you gotta do? What is so goddamn important? That's not important. I just need to. I need to. That's even worse. <laughs> hold on, I gotta go. What's it's even not worse? Important. <laughs> Don't even worry about it. Nico, pick a different topic. A different topic, Tanner. We have so many to choose from, though. How am I supposed I know, to pick, pick just any one? All right, so here's one that uh, recently came up as I was uh, perusing the old Reddit. So do you guys think that it is, a, it is perhaps ethical at all to use bottled water at home when you have perfectly good tap water? Ethical. I yeah. don't. Ethical? I, th I think this ma I think this matters so little that bringing ethics into it doesn't make any sense at all. I mean, you you're you're like buying all this bottled water that has to be like shipped all the way out here, Tanner. That's using up plastic and stuff like that. When you, it's not even necessary for you to use at all, you know. Especially like Maybe if you're in a place like, like Oregon. Why the, why the fuck do people in Oregon buy bottled water? Exactly. It doesn't make know. any sense. Blake stole your parking spot, Nico. That piece of shit. <laughs> Wait, what? How did he steal Nico's Where's car? Was car? Parked there. I moved Nico's car because I was planning on taking Blake out for a drive in my Miata when he got here because I was, you know, planning on being on the podcast. Uh, so I moved Nico's car out of the driveway, and then Blake oh. goes and just takes the fucking parking <laughs> spot. Well, it looks we like go. it wasn't Funny meant to stuff. be, Jackson. I'm sorry. Damn. I mean, he can just move his car. It's it's. Li but Jackson, you can mo actually move the car this time. That's the difference. I can't. You're right. I have the power. You you do so most certainly do. Anyway, is that the special guest? Is it Blake, guys? Whoa! Uh, he's sitting in his car on his phone right now. Sure Fun is. Stuff. Yeah. Let me uh, let me answer the door real quick. All right. Sweet. Okay, Tanner. Are you ready? This is uh, this is the big section that you're cutting out in the future. Okay. Oh, out here. We Howdy there, Blake. How are you doing, my man? I'm doing. How are you guys doing? I'm doing. Yeah, doing. I'm, I'm, do, I'm doing good, great. Dude. Yeah. How do you like being on your first like a, a real like official episode of Guapish? Not like a quiz or anything. <clears throat> I guess that's different. <laughs> that's true. It's pretty different. It is different. Right, right down the line with this guy. <laughs> <laughs> he should be a newscaster. <laughs> So Blake, uh, as the newest uh, guest here on Guapish, uh, I'd like to just ask you here real quick, uh, what would you say is your favorite thing about Joe Rogan? <laughs> hmm. I guess he's open-minded. He thinks uh, of anything from a, a neutral perspective. There we go. You, you, you watching much of Joe Rogan, Blake? Is that a thing? Uh, it's been a while, but yeah, I have listened to him. Oh, okay. Nice. Do you good think? Hold, let, me, let me tie this back into our first, uh, our first topic. Do you guys think you could survive getting like getting punched in the face by Joe Rogan? <sighs> I don't, I don't think like so. Pussy bitch. <laughs> I could take him. How big of a man is Joe Rogan? I think he's like two hundred and fifty pounds oh, at like God. five foot eight. For some reason. Uh... It's entirely possible. Uh, yeah. Yeah, he focuses mostly on jujitsu instead of like uh, like punching yeah. martial arts. So I don't know how good his his punching is. I mean, I, I would. What's, what's jujitsu in a nutshell? Jujitsu is like uh, it's it's just like uh, Brazilian wrestling. Wrestling. I thought it was more yeah. like karate or something. No, no, no. Jujitsu is all uh, grappling and shit. Hmm. I would reasonably think that he would still do full body workouts, so I don't know if it matters what he focuses on. I think it would hurt either way. Yeah, probably. 
So, I don't know. I, I, I really just try to avoid being punched on the face on a daily basis. So, it's not necessarily something to think about. Man, who, who in the world could I possibly take a punch from? I don't. I, I think you're not a man if you're constant. If you're not constantly evaluating everyone around you for whether or not you could survive uh, getting hit by them. I just try to avoid conflict. <laughs> it's like the same thing as uh, as like you're not a man if you're not like in school constantly thinking about what would I do if a gunman suddenly bursts in the classroom. I mean, yeah, that's fair. Don't, don't tell me you weren't, aren't constantly doing that, I, didn't, I wouldn't say constantly. I'd, I'd definitely be focusing on other things. That, that was probably a couple of maybe a 20 or 30% man. of the time kind of thing. Ridiculous. What? Every single time I take a shower, I think, you know, this will be the day someone bursts in here with an axe. Whenever I'm taking a shower, I'm focused on how clean I can get, <laughs> and then I get out of the shower and I'm clean. And that's why I'm a Sigma... And you're a Delta. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know about that. Why'd you go with Delta? That's what I'm wondering. I was just trying to make up a new one. <laughs> okay. All right. What's the definition of a Delta? Is, De is Delta an established part of the canon yet? I don't know. I don't think I've heard Delta. Let me, before. Let me see if I can. Okay. Oh. I, I know Alpha, Beta, Sigma, and Gamma are all ones. Uh, I don't know about Delta yet. What the fuck? Okay, apparently Delta male is actually a thing. Delta male is a common type of man in the sociosexual hierarchy. Okay, they're, what does that they're, mean? They're, what? they're normal guys, basically. Normal they're just guys, average there you dudes. Go. Perfect. Dylan Which is, in fact, a Delta these, male. These sure. sounding names for types of people, though. Yeah, I don't know. Which of us do you think is the most normal dude? That's a Dylan. What? Actually, probably Blake. No way, fucking Dylan's the most normal of all. This is well, hold on a sec. Why would I want to? I want to know the reasoning behind this at least. Like, I understand I'm not normal, but I want to know what I want to hear. What you guys think specifically is weird about me. I also Listen, think Blake you is the most normal. know why it is, Dylan. Yeah, but I want to hear because it... you're a minority. Hey, well, <laughs> hold on a second. That's hmm. <laughs> I'm. The, I don't... Okay. I don't know how to respond to that. You've got no defense. I really don't. That, that kind of came out of left field. <laughs> Alright. You, you weren't thinking that's what we were thinking? No, I don't... And I never think... Nobody ever walks up to me as like, Oh man, you're a... I've never had anybody assume that I'm a minority. And I know you're not you're, assuming, you're never, but... You're never like walking down the street... And, and then someone looks at you and they, and they do a pod person where they point at you and go they do a what <laughs> you know from like from like the body snatchers do you even know what I'm talking about no <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you, you've you've seen that in like a meme or something before, surely. Possibly, I'm sure if I if, if somebody shows me, I'm sure I'll be like, oh yeah, that thing. Uh, but it's not it's not ringing any bells at the very moment. No. Let me let me see it. Let me see if I can find it. All right, what else makes me weird, guys? Come on, it can't just be Tanner calling me a minority. You're in a pyramid You're scheme. A freak, <laughs> Dylan. You are in a pyramid scheme. Uh huh. Well, how am I a freak though? I don't know, Dylan. You just got such weird ideas about life and uh, uh, shit, man. That does not look familiar mm -hmm. at all. <laughs> it's from a from a very famous alien movie. Huh? Yeah, yeah. I can't say that I know what. In I can't say that I know invasion it. Invasion of the Body Snatchers. Yeah, yeah, that's constantly parody, Dylan. Can't say that I know it. Womp. Damn. <clears throat> womp womp. I think. Who's the least normal? The Me least or Nico? Normal? I would say you. <laughs> you immediately assume if it's, one of us if, it, if it's gonna be out of you two, I'll say it's you. I would definitely say I mean, that. Nico, I, I just assume any time we have a topic where it's like, which of us is is the most this undesirable trait? It's gonna be you or me. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> gotcha. Okay. Nico's a pretty normal guy. I don't know. Yeah, he's more normal than you think, Tanner. I've seen the ways machinations machinate. Uh, what the hell sure? does that mean? Uh, that makes sense. It's really all up in the head where things get a little weird. Yeah. Zombie, zombie, zombie. Which is exactly yeah. which is exactly why where I like to keep things, so. Okay. 
Hey, listen, man. I like to keep things in my brain. Listen, man, I, I choose not to share a lot of the things that I think, and there are strategic reasons for that. <laughs> you Maybe you should keep it? more of the things in your brain. Yeah. I was going to say, it feels like you share too much of Brian what you think, like honestly. Eh, it's not that much. Also, I don't know exactly what I'm oversharing, so I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know if there's ever been a moment where you're oversharing. See, exactly. Then I don't know what the purpose of that statement was if I've shared too much. Yeah, we just want you to share more, Don. Okay. Eh. That's all we want. We just want I don't I don't feel like being rejected by society, so I'm just gonna not do that. Show us your butthole. How no. rejected are you uh, are you gonna get from us, Dylan? Good god. Uh, I, that's, what kind of things are you thinking, dude? Let's just leave it at what it is, okay? You guys get to know this side of me, and that's all you get. Do you do, do you guys think you could trap someone? Uh, yes. And what does that mean, Tanner? Do you guys think that you could disguise yourselves as a woman no. to oh. a, a full enough extent no. that you could get a straight man to, like, go home with no. you? No. Oh, I think we know who could. Nico can. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean, Jackson? <laughs> <laughs> You're the only- you're the person that put these ideas in my head. <laughs> Why am I putting those ideas in your head, Jackson? Because you're, you're the one saying that people call you feminine, not me. It's true. I mean, to be fair, Jackson, people also called me feminine, but I think it was for other reasons. I don't think what you're very feminine. What does that mean? Uh, what does that mean? Per personality. Okay. You got, I, can got see Dylan as, I, I can see Dylan's personality attached to a woman. You guys will make a perfect woman, man. If you take uh, the body of Nico and the personality of Dylan. Nah, nah, nah. Well, no, that wouldn't make a very interesting woman, though. I think keep my personality, and then that'll be an absolute banger. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Honestly, I think uh, I think Dylan and I are the only ones who couldn't uh, pro like fully That's disguise ourselves as women. There we go. Really? You think that Blake could pass as a good woman? Yeah, I've, I've, you know, I've seen uh, five seconds of him on a camera, and I said he's got long hair, so therefore he can disguise <laughs> Hold himself. On, he's got short hair now, second. though. Damn it! Oh, he has short hair. Blake, I you have short hair then. now? Oh, it's like medium length. Well, I kind of like shaved the sides of it and left the top long. Oh, gotcha. Oh, I, yeah, I it think, looks yeah, great. I you look I... very dapper, Blake. There we go. Thanks. He's got his summer cut going. Yeah, summer's almost at, at over too. At the end of summer, <laughs> exactly. Hey man, some people's hair don't grow so long, so Jeez. fast. Yeah. All right, well, where are we moving on from there? Well, that's spun off from uh, whether or not we could take a punch from Joe Rogan and Blake's views on the guy. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah, I never even got to what I wanted to say about Joe Rogan. So like, here's the fucking thing about Joe Rogan, okay? What, what's the thing about him? Play it on us. <laughs> uh, every now and then I enjoy checking out his stuff, but like, even when he's talking to a guest who I enjoy hearing from, I don't like how Joe Rogan's always able to weasel fucking MMA into every single conversation he has with people. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't That's give just a fuck about MMA, so I don't want to hear some rando's views on it as well. <laughs> well, then you don't have That's to listen his, to That's it. his whole deal, you know? He's, he's the MMA guy. <laughs> yeah. I, don't I, care notice about it. I notice this especially when he has like comedians on. Yeah. I think his goal in life is to make sure that every comedian has the exact same hobbies as him. <laughs> he, he's even made the effort to make sure that he has like different episodes of his show labeled like the uh, like the fucking Fight Club or whatever the fuck. It's like MMA talk, so it's like okay, this is where that talk should be. Not when he's talking to some like political pugnant or some shit. Man. Well, the, those episodes are literally him like watching the fight with someone. Really? Yeah. I've never bothered to watch one, so I guess I wasn't aware of that. <laughs> yeah, no, they're fight commentary, so. Okay, okay. Still, I think you should leave it to those. I don't want to hear about it anymore. <laughs> He just he just loves comparing things to people, you know, being engaged in combat, you know. He sure does. When he's talking to like someone from who escaped from North Korea or whatever, he's like, Man, that sounds a lot like this one time Jimmy Valentine was in the ring with a uh, with old, <laughs> <laughs> with old with Hansen, old Mario, you know. <laughs> yeah. Mario Deluza. 
or whatever the fuck. Yeah. I get you. That's good. Because if don't. if all five of us were putting a, putting a ring together, who's winning? Not me. Who's winning? Yeah. I think Nico. I don't know, man. I don't know. That's a good question. Tanner, uh, Tanner's got the he's got the weight difference here. That put him at different mm -hmm. class from most of us. Uh, so I, think I, I, I do feel pretty confident on that front. However, I do think that would t turn me into a target. I mean, it, it absolutely could. would. You'd be no, no. you'd be the first one people would want to try to zero in on here. Mm -hmm. I think you guys would gang up on me and then like fight amongst each other. Mm -hmm. Sure. So who would rise to the top from there is the real question here. I don't know. Blake, do you think you'd take all of us in a fight one on four? One on four? Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like an inherent disadvantage. <laughs> yeah, but Blake, agree with that. This guy is just a straight shooter, man. <laughs> he knows what he's talking about. Blake, you've been hitting the gym so much recently. I saw you out there. Your biceps are the size of a, uh, like, a uh, fucking, uh, uh, what are those one melons called? Honeydews. <laughs> mm, honeydew <laughs> honeydew style biceps. Yeah. <laughs> what a compliment. That sounds pretty good. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know. I, I, I think if you guys are taking me out immediately, I think I'm definitely taking at least one of you with me at the very least, but I think Blake is able to clean up after that. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's true. That's true. And unfortunately, Nico, I I will be taking you with me. I figured you would, man. God. I, I didn't think you'd have it any other way. Nico's I, definitely I, the weakest. I, I, link I just in the think group. that uh, our destinies are entwined, and we're not allowed to succeed over the other. Wow, that's very true. There it is. Mm -hmm. Now, Tanner, one thing we're I was actually wondering uh, on the topic of fighting. Okay. So recently, as we saw. Uh, new characters got revealed for multiverses. Oh, yeah. And, uh, yeah. I mean, I didn't see it, but uh, I take your word for it. Absolutely. Black Adam and one of the gremlins. So, Tanner, I was just wondering. I prefer African-American Adam. Okay. Tanner, I was just wondering. <laughs> How many characters do you think need to be revealed from that big leak in order for you to admit that it was true? All of them. Wait, hold on. Okay. Was Black Adam one of them? Yes, Black Adam was one of them. Do you still have that picture somewhere? Uh, probably. I don't want to have to scroll to find Just it. Just go find it. Just hunt her down, Dylan. I don't want to have to find it, so Nico, you go find it. God damn it. But, uh, yeah, I do mean that in a very technical way. You would need to have all of them <laughs> revealed to be true for it to be true. But for you to admit that it was true, Tanner, <clears throat> that's the big thing here. Yeah, but then I'd just look like an idiot if even one of them was wrong. <laughs> Oh damn it! We took a quiz. So I should just write two. out that it's wrong until the very end. But then you just start really looking like a fool once they start uh, revealing like Ted Lasso and shit. <laughs> maybe maybe that's what I should do. I should choose one character where I'm like, okay, if that if that one is in, then sure, it's all true. That's probably okay, a okay. safe course of action. <laughs> you didn't think one of the gremlins would be it though? I didn't think so either. I thought that was a little out there. Gre Gremlin's a bit a bit odd, I'll admit. Are they not a, a mob character? <clears throat> no, it's just straight. See, they could have been a swarm character. They're or failing a swarm me. character. That's, there you go. See that that's that's the weird thing to me. Is like why wasn't why weren't the Gremlins a swarm character? That would have been more perfect than I don't know. Do we have? Well, it's because swarm character is literally just an idea I've proposed. It's yeah, not we, something we the had game a big designers conversation are thinking about, about this the other week. J Dylan. We I don't swear... need to rehash it. Right? It's a swarm character is part two cross episode. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like I have no fucking idea what's going on. I mean, exactly. <laughs> have there been any other characters like Gremlins? Okay, here we go. I game? found it. Let me see. Let, let me choose a character where I'm like, okay, fine. If they put that one in, then then I'll accept it as true. Okay, um, perfect. I mean, we're assuming Ted Lasso is going to be an announcer, right? Yeah, more than likely. Okay. Let me see. Who do I think is the least likely on this list? Hmm. For me, it's probably between the Wicked Witch of the West and Beetlejuice. Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna. I'll. I'm gonna call it. 
Uh, I'm gonna call it on Beetlejuice. That's probably a safe. Okay. If they, if they if they announce Beetlejuice, I will admit I'm wrong. Perfect. Now we just, Multiverses team, get on it. You know what to do mm-hmm. from this point. <laughs> now we just have to assume that they're not going to release Beetlejuice at the very tail end of all of those characters. That's right. <laughs> he, he's the final big one. So Beetle round juice. out the roster, Beetlejuice. Isn't that juice. another one of those famous movies I haven't seen? Probably. Probably. Yeah. I don't know. How, how famous is Beetlejuice? I mean, have you seen the movie called Beetlejuice? <laughs> That's a no, I think. I also oh, asking me. It. Yeah, no, I've, I've heard yes. of it. I don't think I've seen it. Okay, it's, I haven't seen it either. Actually, uh, have any of us seen it? Yeah, I've seen like the very end of it. It's a really okay. that's a, that's a pretty good movie. I enjoyed a decent bit. I'm gonna make a spinoff called Beetle Jews, and I'm not gonna elaborate on that any further. Yeah, I would hope okay. you would have, but all right. Now, why I feel like that? that's low enough hanging fruit. That's probably already a thing, Tanner. <laughs> I mean, Let's see what the internet has to say when I look up Beetlejuice. I mean, here's the thing. I'm sure it won't be anti-Semitic do at you, all. Do you know what Beetlejuice is even about? <laughs> he's like a he's like a goblin, right? He, yeah, he's like a supernatural like creature monster dude. Uh, he only appears if you say his name three times, but he can defy the laws of physics and all that shit. He can do whatever he wants, basically. He's a big stinker. <laughs> Very interesting. All of these links are just about how Volkswagen Beetles were invented by Jews. But okay, we're here now. So that's what Beetle Jews are. <laughs> okay. No, Herbie the Love Bug. Mm-hmm. That's right. He's the next fighter, Dylan. Herbie the Love Bug. He's coming to the game. Jack Jackson will finally have a man. Hell yeah, yeah dude. Forget Iron Giant, boys. We're gonna have Herbie the Love Bug. <laughs> Alright, now it did actually remind me of something I did want to kind of touch on here real quick That actually didn't remind me of this whatsoever But I just remembered it All Guys, right. have there ever been like uh, When you were a young uh, small child growing up when you'd watch like all these uh, kids shows They're trying to teach you lessons and shit uh-huh. Was there a lesson that you applied That just didn't pan out at all in your life? No, I don't usually apply kids shows lessons to my life I would say. No, when you're a literal child, you didn't try doing that, Dylan, since no. you were young and impressionable. Dylan never tells if I the did, truth. I don't remember he it. never shares. He never gets adult help. He always talks to strangers. <laughs> he runs with scissors constantly. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to admit whether or not I ran with scissors, but... He never finishes his food. That's That, that was true. He can't use the toilet. Well, that's yeah, not is that true. a lesson in kids' I'd shows? Say so, is that yeah. something... The whole not talking to strangers thing was I was just shy as a child anyway, so that wasn't really an issue for me. Dylan lies constantly. He doesn't tell the truth. He just doesn't. Mm. I mean, that's not for you to find out. That's the whole point of telling lies. What was that sentence? Yeah, what does I that mean? <laughs> what, what are you talking about? I, Nico says I lie constantly. like speaking ye old English. Yeah. Nico, Nico says that I lie constantly, and I never tell the truth, and I said that's not for him to know. Yeah, but... Yeah, that that doesn't. He doesn't have to know when I'm telling that, the truth and when I'm not. That's for me to know. I just, I'm. I what just, do you? What's your point here? This, this is a classic. I don't understand right what you're here. trying to communicate. What I'm trying to say right now is whether or not people know I'm lying is none of their business, and it's only for me to know. That's the, that's the whole point feel, of lying. I feel like it is <laughs> their business if you're lying to well, them. Well, then what's the point of lying if they know I'm lying? Oh my god. <laughs> this is fucking brain rot, man. Stop. <laughs> Get us out of here. <laughs> or what about you guys? No, Dylan obviously didn't have anything with that. What about you guys? I tried to take the Teletubby lesson that the sun is a, is, is like a little baby. Mm-hmm. Would you stare and, at it? Uh, yeah, I stared and I screamed. Huh. Because, I, cause, you know, as a young child, I hated anything younger than me. Yeah. Uh, so I would I would just scream at the sun, and then uh, when I was like seven, my parents were like, "Jesus Christ, why are you always screaming at the sun?" I'm like, "It's just a baby." And then they beat me until I forgot <laughs> what the sun is. Oh my what? God. <laughs> I was convinced for a while that vacuum cleaners could make pancakes or whatever the fuck that vacuum cleaner made. What? Yeah. Nah, the Teletubbies exclusively ate rabbit. Did you see any wheat fields in that show? What? Mm-hmm. 
They exclusive. Their only source of food is rabbit. Yeah, the big old rabbits they have paroling around their fields. Mm-hmm. No, I don't remember that at all. You don't you don't remember there being rabbits in Teletubbies? No, I mean maybe it, it's ringing some kind of bell, but I'm not picturing it in my mind that much. That's very interesting. I feel like that's a pretty iconic part of that show that there's just rabbits all over the <laughs> Listen, place. Listen, man, the yeah. only thing I remember from that show is that the son is a baby, they have televisions in their stomachs, and their vacuum cleaner makes pancakes. Okay. Do you think they fuck that vacuum cleaner? Yeah, no. probably. Rel- relentlessly. What? Yeah, the one with like the <laughs> big stick antenna probably just shoves up in that vacuum cleaner every now and then. What else do they have to fuck? Yeah. I mean, they... Yeah. <laughs> the Teletubbies are getting Telechubbies, am I right? <laughs> Do you think they have retractable penises? <sighs> what? Dude, I wish I had a retractable penis. Why? That sounds mighty convenient. I don't know. Would you rather have a retractable or a prehensile one? Mmm. Interesting. Remind me what prehensile means again? It means it can, like, grab things. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like an octopus tentacle. I, I just hmm. don't know what I'd really need to be grabbing with my dick, you know? Well, I don't know. Maybe, like, in the shower, I want to grab some shampoo or something. What the fuck? <laughs> Got an extend How low is your dick? shampoo? Uh, my shampoo is pretty low down. Uh, He's got a fucking third leg that's grabbing shit. Yeah. This is great. I love it. This is a wholesome I conversation. I, I think I'd stick with retractable. Okay. I don't see what the purpose of either of those things is. Do you think women would appreciate having a tractable dick on a man? Or do you think they'd be turned off by it? Um, I mean, if it was a normal thing, I don't know if it would be a turn off to them. Is no, this is like a genetic if you have abnormality. have a lot of foreskin, isn't that kind of like having a retractable penis? I guess that's no. fair. Yeah, I guess so. What do you mean, no? <laughs> I'm not connected to that answer. Yes. <laughs> the answer is definitely yes. That's how that works. It's just extra skin. Mm-hmm. The way I'm Jackson, imagining it goes, can I borrow your like, foreskin? You can't have fuck? my foreskin. Can I have it after you die? This is disgusting. Mm, after I die, yeah, sure. Let's see who lives longer. Oh my god, Fantastic. I'll get your foreskin if you die before me, though. Oh my god. Oh well, I'm taking it back like from the doctor. You're gonna run into some keeping. complications. Later, I know. Buddy. I know you don't have it already, man. I'm gonna <laughs> go talk to the doctors about it. I know they'd be keeping that shit. Do you think I could find it? <laughs> yeah, like if possibly. I made a really concerted effort, do you think I could like track down where my foreskin wound up? No, your mom might just be hanging on to it, Tanner. You never know. That's fucking weird. <laughs> yeah, saving it for me. Yeah, some people do like put their child's foreskin in, like a little box or something for safekeeping. That's fucking weird. All right, I don't, I don't know if that's true, but that's true, so. man. I feel like with all medical procedures, it's they like, like always teeth. have the same myths. It's like, oh, some people, like, eat it after this surgery happens. Like, I feel like we people say that about literally every surgery. Like the placenta? Yeah, exactly. They're like, oh, they eat the placenta. Well, I mean, people like, actually oh, did do Did you know that. that some people, if they get an ingrown toenail removed, they eat it? That's also... What the fuck? You guys ever had ingrown toenails? Yeah, they Dylan fucking did. suck. It does suck. I had to get, like... F- I had a really... Hmm? No, I was gonna say I had to get like five fucking shots in my toe alone, and it, ugh, it was horrible. Yeah, the surgery to get rid of those things, like, uh, I don't think they should even be allowed to call it surgery. They just like numb your foot up, and then they, it's basically like a pair of like pliers, and they just rip it out. So here's the thing: they didn't just rip the entire thing. They cut, they cut off the one side that it was on, and then they pulled it yeah. out. Yeah, yeah, they I did that we with uh, me too. avoid this whole feet conversation here and uh, circle back here. Well, Jackson and Blake, uh, what kids' lessons did you guys learn? <laughs> uh, I learned to not touch the oven. That's oh, okay. Mm. I feel like mm. okay. yeah. So I don't know. I don't know why I did this as a child, but I was like, what happens if I touch my lip to the burning hot oven? <laughs> Now hold wow. on. When you say oven, you're not. You mean the oven, not I mean, the stove I mean the, top. I mean, I mean the. Sorry, right? yeah, no. I mean, I mean the fucking. Uh, yeah, the stove top. I don't oh, know why fuck. I was saying oven. Yeah, I didn't put my well, head in the oven. What did happen? Uh, well, I burned the shit out of my lower lip, clearly, and then for some reason I deflected and I blamed it on my sister, telling, saying that she like pressured me into doing it or like told me to do it. I don't know why. Yeah, but yeah, I learned to. I learned to not do that. 
Okay. Jackson, put your lip on the stovetop or you're a little bitch. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good to me. How about you, Blake? You, 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 uh, what kind of little children's lessons? I mean, that kind of made me think of something similar. But I wasn't really a little kid. I was like 13. We had just moved into the greenhouse in McMinnville. Okay. And there was just like this bare wire coming out of the floor. And being oh, like no. 13, I should have been old enough to be like, don't touch it. But instead, I was just like, hmm. And I grabbed it. Got a but pretty. what if? Got a pretty good buzz off of it. So. <laughs> a buzz, you say? <laughs> you got a buzz. Yep. <laughs> that was that was my first time drinking a beer. <laughs> Made it feel a little what lightheaded if electricity afterward. could get you drunk? I used to touch electric fences all the time as a kid at my gonna, mom's parents' house. I was literally about that. They had, a, they had electric house. fence, and I was just constantly grabbing that thing. I thought it was so fun. <laughs> have any have any of you other guys been legitimately electrocuted before? Like, is that something you could say is, has happened to you? Well, electrocuted, well, electrocuted means, means, means you got, like, executed. What? Yeah. So what, what would you call what whatever their experiences were? Just shocked. Oh. Yeah. I feel like it's a little more well, electric electrocuted is literally electricity plus executed, so oh. technically you have to die to be electrocuted. Interesting. Yeah. I just when I think of a shock, I think of like static, so in their scenarios I think of it more of a more intense than that. How about zapped? Does that do it for you, Dylan? Yeah, sure. Have you guys ever been zapped, zapped before? I've been zapped. Whoa, 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 what? I've touched like a like a yeah. horse fence. Oh. it zapped me. What about you, Nico? No, I don't think so. Dylan, you, uh, you had, like, one of those in one of the houses you lived at, right? What, an electric fence? Or Yeah. Nah, I mean, yes, but I'm pretty sure a lightning storm broke it. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, yeah, just remember, uh, like, some adult at your house was like, don't touch that, you'll get shocked. Yeah. Uh, so before I, before... Ah, uh, Uncle Murray. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, I was, uh, I remember moving into this house in Mac, it was the one behind Dollar Tree. And, uh, we were just checking out the house, and there was this light s switch without any, like, without the cover on it. So I went to go turn, this was completely by accident, I went to turn off the light, <laughs> and me being, being, me being a klutz, I missed the light switch and went into the socket and electrocuted, and shocked, zapped myself. Fuck. Fans That's pretty good. Uh, yeah, no, but yeah, we did have an electric fence outside that house, and they were, we had like, I think they were dairy cows, I don't know what kind of cows they were keeping them, they were basically a company owned them, but yeah, the, the, what, wait, hold on a sec, is there a difference between dairy cows and non-dairy cows? Yeah, like, like, all cows make milk, don't they? No. Well, some cows are specifically, uh, like, bred or whatever, mm -hmm. to just constantly be, uh, pumping out that milk, you know? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. I'm trying to be bred to get pumped out milk. So, <laughs> I'm not entirely sure what kind of cows they were. Anyway, uh, so then, they, we had a really bad storm one day, and I'm pretty sure I saw a flash, and lightning struck right in front of my house, but I wasn't sure where it struck, because I didn't see any scorch marks or anything on the ground. And then, like, within that week, all the cows escaped the field and, like, like left. So then it came <laughs> to the conclusion that the fence got zapped by a lightning storm. <laughs> Uh, and you, it stopped you working. You got those cows back, yeah. I mean, they weren't ours. Uh, the the two like male, there was like a male and a baby, and they both escaped. And when the male came back, they killed it. And then the baby came back, and I don't know what they did with that. It was a. I learned a lot about you know animals and what we do to animals living out there. It wasn't great. Uh, and that's why you're a vegetarian to this day. No, yeah. see, my sister tried to make me a vegetarian on, like, two occasions. One of them, she tried showing me a documentary of, like, what happens to animals. <laughs> and I, I watched it. I'm like, yeah, I watched this in high school. It, it doesn't matter to me. And yeah. as long as Is I... Is she a vegetarian? She she was at a couple points in her life. But I, don't, I didn't think it would ever stick because, you know, like... She, she made the decision to be a vegetarian, and that lasted maybe... I think the longest it ever lasted was, like, two months. Maybe. She doesn't have a strong enough will. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, no, I mean, there was... As long as I don't have to interact with the food as much, like, I'll eat chicken wings and chicken thighs and all that shit, but anything beyond that, I, I get I get a little... I get a little uncomfortable. So as long you as it's hand wait, what, do you, what do you mean by beyond that? <laughs> uh, like when it comes to like shit, like crab legs and all that. Uh, 
you know, either they... There's like cracking them bad boys open and munching down on the delicate meat inside. There's a, there's some cuts of chicken that include like the spine and rib cage and all that. Like, eh, I don't... So yeah, uh, like if you had a big old turkey in front of you, you wouldn't want to like rip off one of the legs and munch down on that? Not necessarily. I, I'd much rather have it trimmed off and I'll just eat it that way. Like, I'll, okay, eat, okay. I'll eat crab and shit. Like, I'll eat crab and shrimp and all that, but as long as I don't have to extract the meat from it, then I'll, 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 I'll be fine. Gotcha. Just like the time when we were sitting in that one buffet and you were just fucking eating those prawns and I told you not to talk about it. You did and I almost threw up. I didn't talk about it. Jackson talked about it. Sorry, I was talking about them in extensive detail. <laughs> it wasn't yeah. even extensive detail. It was just talking about it. And I, I cannot mentally handle it. So that was a grand old time, though. I gotta say, the them fucking prawns, man. They're okay, but like it's way too much work to get for that little amount of meat. There you go. Wasn't a massive fan of that. Do we However, have guys, I never got to the children's lessons that I got to learn. Nice. Uh, at one point, I remember injuring my brother because I scraped like a little fucking like hand rake across his face for some reason. Jesus. Uh, and so he started crying. And normally in that situation, I would have just been like, shh, 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 don't say anything. It's fine. It's fine. It's not that bad. Uh, but I remember some little lesson I learned recently from a show. It's like, hey, you shouldn't try to cover things up. You should tell the truth and be honest. So I thought, okay. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do the good thing here. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna go tell my mom about this. And I got spanked. And then I became a liar ever since then. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. See, that one have worked on me because uh, I wasn't afraid of my parents. Oh, there you go. Even even from a young age, my parents could not hit me hard enough that it would uh, deter any behavior from me. Really. Yeah. Interesting. And then they figured out they could take away video games from me, and that then it was over. <laughs> that was the game changer. I don't know why that was yeah. a realization so so much later, but all right. Now, Blake, my hmm. man. What's up? Do you have any topics that you'd like to bring forward to us at all here today? Hmm. I'm, you would, sure, I'm sure I do, but they're just not coming to me right now. Mm, you guys mm. want to talk about cars? <laughs> I, I wouldn't have very much to talk about in that subject field. Lame. I could not have less of an opinion on cars. <laughs> this is the, officially the the Blake and Jackson podcast where we just That's talk right. about cars. Blake, for the rest of what the is your favorite Transformer? My favorite Transformer. Yeah. Uh, I guess the black and yellow one. Bumblebee. Yeah. Yep. He's pretty cool. Everyone likes that generation of Camaro. It's what brought it back into the scene of cars. Yeah. Nice. The, the, the Camaro, Camaro who's your without. favorite Transformer? You're probably going to say something lame. Uh, my favorite one is Constructor. That was right. I'm kidding. <laughs> I don't even know who Constructor cool. is. <laughs> Ooh. That gives me a good quiz idea. Yeah? Oh, man. Transform yeah. A Transformers quiz. quiz? Yeah, Transformers quiz. Fuck. <laughs> I would definitely not even come close to passing that. I... It'll, it, it'll literally just be a bunch of questions of, like, is this a, a, the name of a real Transformer, or did I make this one up? Oh, I mean, I guess that's fine. That I... does not sound like it'll be a super great quiz, but all the more power to you, Tanner. <laughs> it could at least be a shorter yeah, quiz. Yeah, we'll see. I'm more of a Starscream kind of guy myself. Of course you, you are. You would be. I mean, look, Tanner, he just, he's just, uh, he has so much depth to his character, bro. He's just great. Do your best guy. impersonation of Starscream right now, please. Um. <laughs> Already wrong. Um. I'd rather not. Can I do one then? Go for it. Well, g give me a line to say. Give me something that Starscream would say. I've, uh, I've got you now, Optimus Prime. Okay, sure, I can do that. I've got you now, Optimus Prime! There you go. <laughs> that sounded like jelly. <laughs> pretty, pretty close. Pretty close. Megatron! <laughs> oh my god. That's basically what he sounds like. <laughs> yeah. I think. He's my favorite I've character. I've never seen the show, and it's been a decade I, since I've seen the movies. Only, yeah, I, I was about to say, I have exclusively watched the movies, and I don't even know if I've seen the third one. 
I'm baffled that you haven't seen the show, Tanner. You absolutely scream. My parents uh, had me watch uh, Transformers when I was a child. What, what's that supposed to mean? You calling me autistic or something? What the fuck? That's not all where I was going with that, for sure, Tanner. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Where then. were you going? What, what, what does that mean, then? I don't know. you just looking at you're like, uh, knowing you, Tanner. It's like, yeah. This guy was absolutely forced to watch Transformers as a child. All right. Now, I was more of a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles guy. There we go. Uh, and yet you still prefer the original over the fucking 2002 version or whatever, 2004. I, I, I don't know how much of the 2004 version I've seen, so it may maybe not the most fair comparison for me. I do definitely Probably prefer not. the 2004. Especially considering the original is garbage. It's trash, Tanner. It's trash TV, man. I mean, the... I, I, I like the original. It's fun. You would, man. You would. I mean, the animation style is kind of meh. Your real lifestyle is kind of meh. That's nice. <laughs> I didn't ask for your opinion. <laughs> but you got it anyways. <laughs> I sure did, but I don't care. Blake, out of all of us, who do you think is the most stylish? Hmm. I haven't seen Tanner in a hot minute. That's okay. You can leave him out of it then. Wow. Um. Uh, Dylan, maybe I just haven't seen you enough. Probably. Uh, the most stylish. That really narrows it down to two people, not done then. I mean, really, even if he he kept me in, he'd be going off of my quote unquote high school style, so I'm still not winning. Hmm. Was it bad or something? How bad was it? I guess Nico. Hey, there we go. I like to hear it, man. Nico set up that question. I, I probably agree with ego. that. Nico is uh, Nico is the most stylish. I mean, I'm not. Which also I makes the exact the same style choice until he decides to go fancy. Then we have very different style choices. I'm not disagreeing with the answer. I'm just saying that Nico sets up these questions very strategically. Mm-hmm. He's I don't going know to how. On. What do you mean you what don't know mean? how? Oh, I have to like the most my stylish. Dad, to be honest. <laughs> Nico, I hear you constantly talking about how you you make better dress choices than most people. I when have I ever said that? Blake, did we ever have any classes together? Um, not that I recall. I just remember track. Okay, cross country. Oh, and maybe cross country. Well, I wasn't I wasn't in track, so <laughs> it was definitely cross country then. I, I guess it was cross agree. country. To end the conversation quicker, you scared, intimidated of Blake. <laughs> mm-hmm. Well, there we go. I don't know. Does it, does it does it ever feel to you? Do you guys ever see like people talking like online or in the news about like? The, like, it'll be an argument about education, and they'll be like, you know, I never even learned this, that, or this in high school. And, and you're just like, are you fucking stupid? I learned that in high school. <laughs> I, I don't have... Yeah, I think I've seen that. I don't have room to argue here, considering I think we had a conversation like this on one of the previous podcasts. Right. We absolutely yeah, did, Because, yeah. like, to me, it's just like I don't think I don't think uh, McMinnville High School was like an exceptionally like advanced school or anything. I mean, but I'll, I'll see people in the news who are like, D "I never, I never learned about the Civil War in high school." I'm like, "What? Do you, what the fuck are you talking about?" Oh, okay, when it comes to stuff like that, <laughs> yeah, obviously, like that's basic. I feel like that's basic history. Exactly, and I just like anytime I hear people say stuff like that, I, I'm always like. You're definitely the kind of person who just wasn't paying attention in school. Yeah, 100%. I don't think there's this, like, rash of, like, education being that bad. I think students are just kind of fucking stupid. Yeah, yeah, I can agree with that. That's very true. Like, it's not it's not a very popular opinion of mine, but, um... Like, like when it comes to why, why is, uh, why are kids, like... Why is their academics, like, so much lower now than they used to be? I, I kind of just think that students have gotten worse. We've gotten lazy. Mm-hmm. I, I think it's the phones. They've gotten too damned addicted to their phones. Those damn, damn, damn phones. phones. <laughs> That's true, though. I he's mean, not, hey, they, they should try it. Yeah. Do private schools, like, do, like, mandatory no phones in class or anything? Probably. 
just send out an EMP mm. or something. Yeah. Yeah. Ron's the only one here who went to a private school, so he'd be the only one who really knows. I don't think that qualifies, because I also went to grade school, so we wouldn't have really even had cell phones, even if we were in this time now. Yeah. That's a good question. At what age are you guys giving your first kid a phone? Uh, Probably once they get to, like, middle school. I would probably say mm. middle school is a safe, because, like... It would probably be the same situation for me where I wanted a cell phone really bad and then it just turned into like, hey mom, I'd actually be, because I was doing like sports and shit, so I was like, hey mom, I'd be able to tell you where I am or if I need to be picked up if you got me a cell phone, and then I got a cell phone and she never replied to me like ever, so. (laughs) Very good. (laughs) And then I I would get home like, you know, what's the point of me having a phone if you're not going to respond to me? And she's like, I was just busy. I'm like, well, I was walking around town for like at least half an hour with no way to get home, so I don't know what you want me to say. (laughs) This is a fun story and explains so much. Um, are you guys going straight uh, okay. for the smartphone, though? Uh, I mean, I mean do you, really can you have fucking a buy anything else at this point? Yeah, I don't... Yeah, you can still get, like, little flip phones. I, and you, you, can, you can get one of those, like, smartphones that's, like, super basic, though. Like, you can get, like, a touchscreen phone that has, like, basically no features. You can get the yeah. Universe mm-hmm. Jelly Pro. It's, like, super tiny. Well, there we go. I think my it's siblings like a, have, like, iPhone 7s, uh, and those, those seem Chinese pretty basic phone. now. Yeah, I mean, they're just more accessible. Getting, like, a flip phone nowadays, unless you're getting, like, a specialty product, it's kind of fucking annoying. Yeah. I mean, guy, I I, just, I, I mean, personally, I think giving a 13-year-old a smartphone is uh, not the move, let's just say. Okay. Like, it's too what much is, for what a is kid. Your, what is your reason? Yeah, I, yeah, well, yeah, I just think that, like, I think, <laughs> I think give it, uh, I mean, you know, we've seen how fucking crazy kids are nowadays and how brain-rotted they are. Yeah. I, I don't think you can give, like, a 13-year-old complete unfettered access to the internet at all times of the day and expect them to turn out okay. I think, I think you just, like, really need to absolutely uh, limit every feature they have on that dang old thing, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, the problem is that if you do that, though, it's just going to build so much fucking resentment because you know, like, 95% of parents are going to be lazy and just give their kid a phone with no restrictions. Right. And yeah. they're going to compare those kids to themselves, and it's just going to make those kids fucking hate you as a parent because you're restricting them so much. Yeah, I know this from experience will, because this was 100% me as a child <laughs> growing up because my parents were super fucking restrictive of all electronics with me compared to everyone else I knew. Yeah. Well, you see, with me as a child, Jackson, I didn't have a fucking smartphone until like my senior year of high school. <laughs> me? Really? I, had, I yeah. got my smartphone in like sophomore year of high school, I think. And I, I was think like, I yeah, the same for me. <laughs> But with smartphones, I felt so lame back then, man. But like with smartphones still being like a relatively recent thing, like I feel like sooner or later there'll just be more like awareness of like kids not using them for the right things. I think they already have that. Nobody just cares because it's just convenient to do this. My parents yeah, are just like yeah. offloading the responsibility of teaching their kids and like maintaining them on all that shit just to the smartphones so like yeah i'm not gonna fucking train my kids i'm just gonna make them look at a phone all day yeah to be fair i think the i think one of the reasons for that is like uh you know the whole idea is that parents have to take lessons they learned and pass them on to their kids but with smartphones like our parents never learned how to responsibly use smartphones either yeah, yeah. so once they were giving them to us like you know they didn't know what they were doing either yeah there's gonna be some pretty big consequences when this generation grows up and gets sent into the real world yeah. Uh, for me, uh, at 13, maybe not, maybe 13, maybe 14, who knows? Maybe one, maybe, maybe never, but uh, I'll start with like a flip phone or whatever, like something super dumb. And then, probably depends on my kid, but maybe around 17 or 16, I'll go for a smartphone. But, like, it's basically, in that whole intermediary period, I'm really going to be driving home, like, hey, man, social media will actually destroy you and will leave you at, like, a mental husk that cannot, like, function in the real world. So please stay off of it. No, the real strand, though, is you're going to give them a smartphone until they can afford to buy one themselves after they get a job. So you can say, like, you can get it if you get a job and you start working and you buy a phone with your own money. That's when you get a smartphone. Yeah, that's, that's a good what compromise. I had to do, Jackson. I think there needs to be a good amount of give and take. Because um, right now, with the way that the world is, there's way too much free access to too much information. Um, 
and there's a lot of avid. I agree. We need to start censoring information yeah. for the good of the people. Like I, I'm, I did have a. I ran into a. I ran into a situation yesterday. Uh, what the fuck? Uh, with my sister. Uh, anyway, um, this is tangent. I she don't just to... walked up to you and she was like, "Dylan, do you watch clown porn?" Anyway, uh, but yeah, I think there there's a lot of avenues that need to because the thing with what Jackson was saying, where it's like resentment for having restriction. Uh, because I, I think if you do restrict too much, that ca- that that's just going to result in children wanting to be rebellious, which makes them want to do the things you don't want them to do more. So it's about finding an even balance between the two. And, like, maybe if you're going to restrict them, telling them why you're restricting them and the reasons behind it. Like you were talking about, Tanner, where it's like, hey, if you do this thing, it's not going to be great. Just because everybody else does it doesn't mean it's going to be good mm-hmm. for you. So mm-hmm. it's it's just like But they're still children, Dylan. They won't understand that. I mean, yeah, yeah but that that's the that's the idea is that you as the acting authority figure is supposed to understand that for them so that when they get old enough to understand these concepts, they look back on it and they're like, Man, I'm really glad that this person told me not to do this thing because now I'm a better person for it. Yeah, I'd agree. Like, I'd say personally, I'm pretty glad that I didn't get, like, a smartphone until, like, I think it was, like, late junior or senior year or whatever. Yeah. Because, uh, yeah, that just, like, I, like, today I still literally have no interest in social media at all, and that seems like a giant bullet that I missed. Yeah, exactly. I, I had a smartphone pretty early on. However, I wasn't a huge social media junkie. And even if I had social media, I barely ever used it. Like, I've had a Facebook for years, but I literally use it for Facebook Messenger, and I haven't even used that in a couple of years. So, mm-hmm. it it's about, I don't know, it, it's definitely about what you have and how you use it and, you know, telling your kids why you shouldn't be doing this instead of, you know, just because I said so, because then the kids are going to be like, well, that's stupid, and then they're going to do it anyway. Yeah, because right. I mean, like, even a five-year-old can understand that, like, that's not a reason because I yeah. said so. And plus, you're setting that's up exactly your kids for That's the exact thing I was talking to Dylan about yesterday. Nico, that's a completely different scenario, and you know it. Don't you dare Dylan, bring that bullshit in here. you just won't let me sit on your lap, bro. I don't care. I didn't <laughs> want you to. Then you can, tell you me something my lap like that, day. man. What do you mean, tell you, so- tell you something like what? Tell me why you don't want me to. Because it's fucking weird. There you go. That's a little better. I, I shouldn't have it's to weird. explain this. It's common sense. Yeah. I'd like an explanation as to why it's weird, though. I don't need to explain to you why it's Dylan, weird. All, <laughs> Dylan, all you really have to say is that it hurt because Nico has a bony, flat ass. I mean, I, that oh, would be that, acceptable. That, that is a solid defense right there. I wouldn't yeah. know that. That's, a, that's the main reason I've stopped letting Nico sit on my lap. It hurts too much. I wouldn't yeah. know that, though. <laughs> I wouldn't be able to infer that information before it happened. And when was the last well, time you hold on a second. You haven't out. even tried it once. <laughs> no. You see? Why <laughs> would I let it happen? Not the true friend. How is that That's being a I'm friend? Saying, man. Nico said he wanted Dylan, to. Uh, I was telling Dylan I'd really enjoy it if I could. He would just say things like, "I don't care. I don't want that." Exactly. Like, why don't you want me to be happy, Dylan? You can find other ways to be happy. It doesn't have to involve sitting on my lap. That's fucking weird. Yeah. You are. A... But if you guys trade laps, like you sit on his, he sits no, on yours. No, because we are both. Like you take turns. No, because we are both grown ass men that don't need to be doing that shit. <laughs> that is how that works. What does your age have to do with sitting really... on laps? <laughs> Stop being a yeah, bigot, they... Dylan. This really Stop just delving more fit. into Dylan's homophobia, honestly. Whatever. <laughs> I got a well, little. I think it should be a pretty good there. episode right there. Is what I'm thinking. I was wondering when this was gonna end. Thank you God. So? I don't. I hate that it ended like that. But all right. <laughs> I think. It, I think it's a great ending. Okay, fine. Uh, Blake. But, uh, oh wait. I guess we. Hmm. You're right. We have to do an outro. We yeah. do. Blake. Would you like to tell the people about our Patreon? Don't make. It's his first episode. Don't make him do the outro. He's got to hear all about the Patreon though. Blake. He can't well, hear someone, about well, it. Uh, it he, how is he supposed to hear about it if he's talking about it? Blake, we've told you about the Patreon many times. <laughs> do you remember anything about it? Um. 
a dollar a month and something and something or other. All right. Nico, He's just give, good just so give the outro, Nico. <laughs> Well, everybody, thank you so much for watching. As always, please do subscribe to the Patreon as well as the rest of the channel. With the Patreon, it's only $1 a month, only a single dollar. That's less than a cup of joe, okay, for one day. Yeah, with it, you get brand new episodes as soon as we have them prepared, as well as the pre- and post swap that we keep alluding to that you just can't get your hands on. As well as you get 100 slime coins, okay? 100 slime coins a month, Jackson? A month? That's about hold to say, on, I'm pretty sure it's a one-time thing. 100 slime coins a month sounds reasonable, but it sounds like a lot of upkeep. Please don't subscribe to the Patreon. I can't keep up with this demand. <laughs> <laughs> oh, also, no. of course, you go over on Rumble and find us there. No one watches us on Rumble, but I think we have a growing audience over there anyway. All right, Some bye -bye. people want Bye. 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 Bye.